hi guys welcome back to my channel this is pure crochets thank you for clicking on today's tutorial we are creating this beautiful green summer dress you can accessorize it with a scarf because the back area is quite deep so if you don't want the back area to be um so visible just use a scarf like this or like this or any other way you want and this is how the side of the dress looks it's a very very easy tutorial and this is how the lower part all the way to the bust area to the neck area this is how it looks it has a coverage on the bust area and this is the close-up of the back look so i hope you'll enjoy no. this tutorial kindly subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up and let's get started with this tutorial and share with your friends I'll also love reading your comments, so see you guys in the comments section. We are using 100% milk cotton yarn, you can use any other type of brand of yarn you have. And this is um, 50 grams yarn. We will use 6 balls of this. You will need a 4.0 mm hook and a 5.0 mm hook to work on this project okay so that is the 4.0 uh, and 5.0 you need a pair of scissors you will need a stitch marker and you will need a tape measure so to begin crocheting we are starting with a 4.0 mm hook and we are starting from the collarbone all the way down so take your collarbone to collarbone measurements and chain as long as that as for me I chained 35 please note 35 can be used in all sizes so chain 35 and 35 is your measurements from one collarbone to the other and I will meet you once you're done with your 35 chains I am at the end of my work so yarn over skip one go to the next stitch and do a double crochet like this after the double crochet, chain one, yarn over, skip the next chain, go to the next chain and do a double crochet like this. Then chain one, skip the next stitch, go to the next stitch and do a double crochet like this. And you're going to work like this across all the stitches that you have. I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, this is how our first row looks like and I hope all of you, your works looks like mine. So to begin the next row, we are chaining three, yarn over and turn your work. And on this row, we are starting to do our increases immediately. So yarn over, go to this chain that holds, to this stitch that holds chain three, this one, and do another double crochet inside here like this that is our first increase okay so yarn over then go in the next double crochet and do a double crochet chain one then go in the next double crochet and do a double crochet always remember to chain one like this then chain one yarn over go in the next double crochet and do a double crochet chain one go in the next double crochet and do a double crochet and we are going to work like this until the end and please note we are doing 
another increase at the end so we are increasing in the beginning of the row and in the end of the row i will meet you in the end of the row to do the next increase I just did my last double crochet in here so remember we are doing an increase go in the same same stitch like this and do another double crochet that makes it an increase should look like that then you chain three turn your work and remember we are doing an increase again go in the same same stitch as chain three here and do a double crochet like this chain one go in the next stitch and do a double crochet which is a double crochet on top of a double crochet chain one go in the next double crochet and do a double crochet like this then chain one go in the next double crochet with a double crochet i will meet you at the end of the row and please note we are also doing an increase at the end of the row for the increases we will do increases in the beginning of the row and in the end of the row until we get to seven rows so do the same same thing which is increasing at the beginning of the row and at the end of the row i will meet you when we have our seven rows in place please note it's the same same pattern okay are almost at the end of our second row and i just want to show you how to do increases again so i will go in with my last my second last um double crochet on top of a double crochet like this then remember at the end here you chain one at the end here you always go on top of chain two chain three sorry so go in chain three and do a double crochet like this then yarn over do another stitch in the same double crochet like this okay that's how we make the increases at the end then you chain three turn your work do an increase in the same same chain three here okay go in here and do a double crochet that is how we do our increase so yarn over go in this stitch and do a double crochet chain one go in the next double crochet and do a double crochet and we are repeating this pattern until your work reaches seven um inches i will meet you i mean seven rows i will meet you once we are at seven rows please note we are doing increases at the beginning of the row and at the end of the row Okay, we are done with our work and this is how it looks these are seven rows one two three four five six seven i did eight rows but it's still fine and if we measure this is more or less equivalent to let's see this is equivalent to four inches and remember we have been doing increases at the beginning of the row and at the end of the row so from here we are doing something different we are going to increase on alternative um spaces so in this row this is our last increase on this row in our next row we will not do an increase we'll just go in with normal double crochet so we chain three turn your work and as i said we are not increasing on this row so we will skip this 
this stitch that holds chain three will skip it yarn over go in the next double crochet which is this one here and do a double crochet like this then you chain one go in the next double crochet and do a double crochet sorry i did a mistake we are supposed to start from this stitch here yeah here so just go in the next double crochet do a double crochet chain one yarn over go in the next double crochet do a double crochet chain one i will meet you at the end of this row Okay, we are at the end of our work and remember we are doing just one stitch we are not doing an increase so go on top of chain three like this and do a double crochet okay so we are done with this row to begin the next row chain three and please note the next row we are doing an increase so we are alternating each row and to do an increase yarn over go in the same same stitch as chain three and do a double crochet like that chain one go in the next double crochet and do a double crochet chain one go in the next double crochet and do a double crochet so i skipped one stitch just realize that and i have to redo this Okay, so we have done an increase already and you chain one so you yarn over we go in this double crochet and do a double crochet chain one yarn over go in this double crochet do a double crochet chain one go in the next double crochet and do a double crochet and we are also going to do an increase at the end of this row so i'll meet you at the end of this row at the end of the row and please note in this row we were doing an increase as you can see here we did an increase so that means we will do an increase also in the end here so i finish up with going in my last stitch here with a double crochet like this which is on top of chain two and then with another double crochet like this just the same way we have been working so the next stitch is no increase chain three turn your work and we are not doing an increase in this row okay so just go in this stitch and do a double crochet chain one go in the next stitch and do a double crochet chain one go in the next stitch and do a double crochet so this is the pattern please note we will do an increase in this row no increase in the next and increase in this no increase in the next until your work perfectly fits you in your waist area so this is going to be the pattern all the way to your waist area once you measure this your work and it fits your waist area perfectly that's when we'll stop and then we will join the hips area i will meet you once your work reaches your waist area So guys, before we get to our waist area, I remember we need to do a different stitch at the bust area so that we cover our busts. So this is only 5 inches of work and now I want to change to a different stitch so that we cover our bust area. And to cover our bust area, we are going to use double crochet stitch. This is just 5 inches from the collarbone all the way to on top of your bust. So work mesh stitch from collarbone area to on top of your bust once you are at the bust area we will do double crochets row and please remember we are still increasing on one side on both sides of our work and an increase in the next row so here i chained three and i'm just going in the next stitch with a row of double crochet 
and inside the space also inside here we go in with a double crochet like this so we're working double crochet on top of the double crochet like this and in the middle of the space like this go in the middle of the space like this with a double crochet next go on top of a double crochet with a double crochet then the next stitch will be in the middle of the double crochet you do also a double crochet and please remember we are doing increases on alternative rows so in this row there was no increase that means next row will do an increase so i will meet you at the end of this row so that i show you how we do increases again so we are at the end here and we just go in the last stitch here remember always go with a stitch on top of chain three so go in chain three like this with a double crochet like this so the next stitch we will do an increase this one we didn't do any increase as you can see so chain three to begin the next row and the next row is going to be an increase so chain three turn your work go in the same same chain that has chain three and do a double crochet that's how we increase then continue in normal double crochets until the end and remember also to increase at the end of your work okay so this is how we are going to work and i'll meet you once we are done with this bust area so we continue with our normal mesh pattern for the rest of the dress So this is how my work looks and for the double crochets I only did 8 rows. This is enough to cover my bust area. If you have a bigger bust please make more rows okay. For my bust area is size 32. So take your mesh, uh, measuring tape and measure the sides of your work. Mine is 16 inches. Remember we are measuring how long, how long our work has gone in terms of width. So this is 16 inches. And the length is nine inches okay so for me I will stop increasing my work from here because this fits perfectly my waist area so if you have a bigger waist area please continue increasing until your work perfectly fits you at the waist okay my waist is 28 and this is 16 I've given it two inches to expand so from here we are not doing any more increases and please note i'm still using my 4.0 mm hook and we will chain three to begin a new row and this new row we will do mesh stitches the same way we have been working all through so chain three turn your work and please note we are not turning because my work has reached my waist measurements skip this first stitch go to the next stitch and do a mesh stitch like that which is a double crochet then you chain one skip the next stitch Go to the next stitch and make a double crochet chain one yarn over skip this stitch go to the next one make a double crochet chain one yarn over skip this go to the next make a double crochet and we are working like this until the end and as i said earlier we are not doing any increases on these rows okay we are going to work mesh stitches now until our work reaches our lower waist and as I said, my waist area is already achieved. There's no need to increase. Okay. So this is how far my work looks like. Increases, then normal stitches on the lower area like this. Okay. So now we want to join our work to make a full dress. And this is how long my work is. It's 14 inches. That is the length from the top to the bottom. And this will be my bust area so now we are going to see how many inches is this on the waist area and then we will add more chains so that the waist area perfectly fits our hips okay so whichever chains you have we're going to add more 
to it to get the hips measurements okay Okay, so I've done more chains on one side that I will join it on this side. Please measure your work and make sure it perfectly fits your hips measurements. So my hips measurement is 40 and I chained up to 18 inches. So when I stretch, it stretches all the way to 20. That means my work will perfectly fit me and have a little more stretch in it. So that means it will not be so, bag uh, so fitting. My work will be kind of baggy. So take your chains and join it on this side well. I just temporarily joined it so that I measure. And we are going to measure. We are going to join our work at the end here. Um, let me just put this in. Yeah. So straighten your work. Make sure your chains are straight before joining it on this side. Like this. And we are joining it to the end here go in this last stitch here and join your work like this we joined using a slip stitch then chain one then you're going to cut off your yarn okay So once you've cut off your yarn, please fasten your work well and make sure your work is straight before continuing with the next step, okay? So in the next step, you're going to find the middle part in these chains here. Remember the chain is now will be on the back area and then we've been working on the front area. So now we will start working on the back area. To work on the back area, please find the middle stitch and put a stitch marker in the middle stitch and then we are going to reattach our yarn and this is how we reattach i reattach my yarn and where i've put my stitch marker is the middle of my work okay so i'm going to reattach my work at the stitch marker like this remove my stitch marker and then put my stitch here like this so we are going in and joining our yarn here do a slip stitch like this and then we will chain three okay so chain one two three and now oh, three or four is okay so i chained four yarn over skip this first stitch go to the next stitch and do a double crochet now we are creating the mesh stitches again this is the lower part of our dress chain one yarn over skip the next stitch go to the next stitch and make a double crochet so skip this go to the next stitch and make a double crochet like this and we are going to work the same same way we have been working creating mesh stitches across all the stitches that you have i will meet you here where we started remember we are um skipping one go in the next stitch make a double crochet chain one and we'll do mesh stitches across all the chains that we have and also in the mesh stitch in front okay so i will meet you at the end here
over the end of my work let me readjust the lighting and at the end here we are going to join on top of chain three sorry my cat just came to disrupt me <laughs> so this is my last stitch here and we are going to join on top of chain three <laughs> excuse me he wants to be seen so much anyway let's move our work around okay so I'll zoom in for more clarity. Okay, so we go on top of chain three here, and this is where we are joining using a slip stitch like this. Then to begin a new row, always chain four. We can always chain three or four, and please note we are now changing our hook to a 5.0 mm hook. Okay. For this row, we are using a 5.0 mm hook all the way to the end. Okay, so chain four, one, two, three. Sorry, chain three. Then go in the next double crochet and make a double crochet. Chain one, go in the next double crochet and make a double crochet. Chain one, go in the next double crochet and make a double crochet. And this is how we're going to work until your dress is in the length that you want for me i worked like this until my dress is at 18 inches length all right so just note that you are making double crochet on top of a double crochet and at the end we are joining using a slip stitch then you chain three and then you begin a new row using the same same pattern Okay, I am done and this is how my work looks like. This is from the top to the bottom. It should look like this. And now we just want to put in the straps and then do the ribbing all through our work and we will be done. Okay, but this is how my work looks like. I worked all the way to, let's measure this together, This uh, the lower part of the skirt version. It goes all the way to... 17 inches okay that is how long my dress is and now we want to reattach our yarn and do a row of single crochets across all the stitches on the top area of the dress so here you'll just chain one and cut off your yarn and make sure your work is well reinforced so I just chain one, cut off my work. And reinforce your work. We will weave in all the yarns that are around, okay? So we are done with this 5.0 mm hook. Go back to your 4.0 mm hook and we want to do a row of single crochets all around. So reattach your yarn here at the middle here and we're going to do single crochets from the middle here all the way to the top area and all the way up to here again
okay so i'm done with my rows of single crochets remember we just went all the way around then please go ahead and find where you will reattach your um, bands at the back this depends on where you want the bands to be so as for me i've left a space of 2.5 inches in between each band like this and from one side to the other it depends with what you want from one side to the other is 3.5 inches from this side to this uh, first stitch marker also to the other side so i'll go ahead and reattach my yarn at one of the stitch markers here like this and i will just do a row of double crochets all the way to the other stitch marker so i'll remove this and i'm going to do a row of double crochets up to the other stitch markers so to do a row of double crochets always chain two after you have retouched your yarn and now we are working using a 4.0 mm hook yarn over go in the next stitch and just do a double crochet like this then in the next stitch with a double crochet and we are working double crochets up to the stitch marker i'll meet you at the stitch marker the stitch marker and this is my double crochets row and now we want to do a decrease so chain two turn your work yarn over go in this stitch we're always keeping this first stitch that carries chain two so go in the next stitch like this do not finish that double crochet go in the next double crochet like this and then we'll yarn over the first three then you'll have two left then yarn over that's how we do a decrease okay so the next is a normal double crochet we will also do a decrease at the end of this row we are doing decreases because we don't want our straps to be so so wide that's why we are doing decreases at the first three rows of the double crochet so i'll meet you at the end of the row we are at the end of the row and we are going in with our next decrease so yarn over go in this chain two and yarn over the first three like this then yarn over the next two chain two turn your work and also we are doing a decrease here as you can see our work has already decreased yarn over go in the next chain like this then in the next chain yarn over the next three then yarn over the next two so this is how we do the decrease and we'll do it in the first three rows this is row two we'll also do on row three then from there we will do a row of double crochets no increase no decrease all the way to the top part of our work
this is how my work looks and i'm going to do 13 rows of double crochets all the way to the top and also we'll go in the other side and do the same same thing okay then go to the sides of our work where we did double crochets row and put up a, a, a band there to tie at the back then a band on top of your work and i hope your work will turn out like this and i'm hoping you enjoy this tutorial as you can see there's a band on the sides of my work and also on the neck area of my work so put the band on the sides and also the band on the neck area and this is how the back of your work should look like this okay thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing please comment on the comment section if you don't understand anything and i'll be easy to help out thank you for subscribing again please remember to tell your friends about this channel subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next tutorial thank you so much for watching happy crocheting have a nice week nice weekend see you soon goodbye